My poor chickens. Chicken. I only have one. She keeps trying to make a nest. I'm going to protect that one. I'll see if I can leave that alone. But the rats get to it now, that which is a different story. But that's not why I'm here. I'm here because of something much more dramatic, not from the chicken's viewpoint. But I, I've got, I already made an initial video about the fact that I'm tackling now the last huge uh, project uh, of my life, I'm pretty sure. And, and uh, where to start? Well, this is the back roof. And from here, it all, you could almost imagine that it just needs to have the roofing put on it. Not so. It's splayed out. Maybe you can see that if it's it's splayed apart. I've got to draw it together. I'm going to bring the height of it down uh, about three feet, uh, maybe more. I built it so high because with the technology of haymaking, uh, kick, bail, kick balers had come in and they required wagons with high racks. And I had to have a way for a wagon with a high rack to come in here. And I didn't have all the material that I wanted. But anyway, that time has passed. Now it's gone over to round bales, which we can roll in and which we have done. Uh, and, and for the foreseeable future, not always, but that's the way we'll do it. So um, now to, to work on that, it, I couldn't just climb up on there because there were certain things that were real questionable. I've filmed this before, I think, I'm sure. But it was also, I guess you can't, up there, up there you might be able to see it. It, it was pushing apart because I didn't have long enough material to make the bottom cord on a truss. You may not understand. But anyway, that, that uh, little wall on the right and that little wall on the left, I'm going to take them out. I'm going to bring those rafters down so that they'll bear on that plate and that plate. And to do that work, I'm going to back the pickup truck in here, and I'll show it to you in a little bit, and uh, work off it. But to do that, I had to deal with the fact that the uh, floor was completely rotted away. Now, I've got it covered at the moment with bumper cover, bunker cover, that's that black and white stuff, and felts to weight it down. Uh, because I've worked on it, I've, I've repaired it. But I haven't quite done the far, the threshold, let's say. I have to work on that more before I can safely back the pickup truck in here. But I did it enough so that we could get this year's hay in. So that I've done. This is a lot from actually this angle, but I will go from up there to show you. Now over here on the left, in a way I could just put the roofing back on that blew off. I could. But that also was a little dangerous to get on because what's down below, some 10 feet down below there, could have just collapsed and it still probably could. So I want to work on that a little bit more. And so I want to do that. And most important of all, really, is that leak up there in the roof. That I have to uh, repair before winter because that's putting water right down on the base of the truss and there's six or four or eight trusses that are beautifully made uh, here, here well here's one and there's one and there's one <laughs> but you know and they're oak and they're beautifully made but with water they will rot and so I have to deal with that. And I can deal with that from above, which maybe I'll show you now on this video too, how I can actually uh, drape ladders from the peak down to there so that I can get there to work on it. So 
All right, so I'm going to go outside. Okay, I'll be brief from, from this angle. There you see the situation, that, that center uh, slope of pair of slopes. I'll drop down about three feet. There's that worst of the leaks that I have to patch. And there's my pickup truck waiting to back in there. I've found planks good enough that I can stand on them. And that'll give me, I think, a safe, uh, a safe place to work to tear that top part off. So it could easily seem very discouraging, but hey, there's stuff to be learned.